Hello, so today I'm going to run you through how to use my template for Alexa Mini user buttons. So you should have downloaded this file here uh, from the blog post. It's just called Alexa Mini underscore user buttons dot zip. Just unzip it, you'll get a PSD file, double click, it'll open in Photoshop, and here it is. Now this is basically how you use it. So Master BG, you can just pretty much ignore that. Um, and these are the three sections. So that's the top section, that's the middle section, and that's the bottom section. So basically, if you want to change the text in the top, you can click in here and then you can set uh, SDI something or other. Um, or you could change it to Gamma if that's what you wanted. And then basically, you just need to jump up here and reset it to fit. Once you're happy with the sizing, just hit Command A and then use this, this little button up here and that will basically center it. And then you can deselect the, the full thing and then just press up and just position the gamma. So basically you can use these three text um, text layers just to change that to whatever you want, ND to whatever you want, false color to whatever you want. Now if you want to change the color coding you just double click the top layer and it'll bring up this layer style. You go to color overlay and then you click here to change the color. So I'll just pull this to the side so you can see the effects. If I click there to change the color and then I can scroll through like this and it will update the color. So you could essentially have one pink, could have one blue, could have one green, could have one red. Sweet as, then you just hit okay, okay and that's updated. When I update the middle one, no problems. Just do the same thing. Color overlay, click green. Green's good. Go for a bit of a darker green, lighter green. Don't want to go black so you can't read. Just try and keep in the sort of lighter colors. Okay, done. And then you can just change that again. So if you want SDI gamma, you can set that to change to SDI gamma. You probably just make this a little bit smaller in that realm. Done. You know, and then basically just to export it, you go file, save as, and just pop it in downloads, change this to JPEG and save. Set it to maximum quality, OK. And then if you go back to your file here, you've got a JPEG that's ready to be printed, sized up perfectly for the size of the camera. Cool. Thank you. Hope that helps. Bye.